Today we're in beautiful Bangor, Maine. What does this community have to offer? If you're thinking about moving here, let me tell you a couple of highlights. It's got the perfect size small town feel with tons of amenities. About 30 to 35,000 is the population for the people in Bangor proper, but all of the surrounding communities are growing at a rapid rate. You will find a fantastic craft brewing market here. Portland has a ton of craft breweries. Bangor has just been discovered. So in the past five years, we have over 10 wonderful craft breweries here for you to try. Other things, we have beautiful parks. Right now behind me is Fairmount Park. Bangor is split into two sides and it's split by the Kanduskeg River, home of the great Kanduskeg canoe race that happens every spring. This is the west side of Bangor. So from the Kanduskeg River over to the golf course and the airport, this is considered the west side. And this is the premier neighborhood in Bangor. This is called Fairmount. The property behind me was built in 1900 and it's located in beautiful Fairmount Park, Bangor, Maine, 123 Webster Avenue. It has a absolutely gorgeous wraparound deck and it has this beautiful Queen Anne architectural detail that goes three stories. And when we get up to the top story, you'll see that it makes the most cozy meditation room or an activities room for your kids. Really looking forward to taking you through this property to see all of its grandeur that has been updated for 2020. Something that you may not know if you're moving from another state to Maine is that Mainers tend not to use their front doors. You saw the beautiful wraparound porch. That is used constantly, spring, summer, and fall. But what Mainers do, we always use the side or the back door. So that's the way we're gonna take you into the house today. Before doing that, however, I just wanna show you what a fifth of an acre typically gets you. Very well manicured grounds if the house is located in town. And you'll see behind me and to your right that there is a beautiful fire pit and a picnic table. They've put down the crushed stone so that there's minimal landscaping that's needed for this area. If you have small kids and you want to use a yard, you definitely can put turf back here. We have a detached garage over to your left and it's a two car detached garage with storage above. This is a very large home for being in town Bangor built in the 1900s, as I said earlier. What you typically get with these homes are very huge utility bills. But because there are 14 solar panels on the roof facing southwest, those utility bills are greatly minimized. So really, it's a net neutral house. It's been insulated to the nth degree, and you're gonna notice that I'm not gonna be perspiring at all when we go in, that's because it's nice and cool. Right now, I am on a typical hot, muggy, Maine spring, summer day. We're just coming into June, and it's really, really hot outside. It's over 80 degrees. Inside is going to be a cool reprieve from the heat and the humidity. Let's go take a look. Remember, Mainers are a little bit different from the rest of the country and we like to use our side or back door. And that's the entrance where we've just come into the house. Now we're in the heart of the home. This is the kitchen, and this has been all redone and updated, completely renovated with greater than 42 inch cabinets. They go from the typical starting point all the way up to the ceiling with beautiful matching crown molding. You've got stainless steel appliances, of the highest degree. You have a beautiful stainless steel backsplash, granite countertops, a propane cook stove, separate wall oven and microwave, and generous seating for three in the kitchen. Some of the craftsman details in this home are absolutely exquisite. Look at the details on the ceiling. This beautiful glam chandelier. We've got a place for generous seating for dinner. And then a wonderful feature is this window seat. Some of these window seats, you can even add hinges and that will give you added storage. This house, 
Doesn't need it so much in the dining room, but we do have that on the stairs going to the second floor. Hardwood throughout. This is two and three quarters maple planking, which is very, very traditional. Some more beautiful architectural features are the fireplaces. You're gonna find these throughout the house. And it's actually, there's another one located in the master bedroom. Nine to 10 foot ceilings are a hallmark of this period home. And the open living room with radiators. Radiators give you very warm type of heat. After the heat reaches temperature, the radiators, by virtue of the name, are still radiating heat throughout the room, giving you a very comfortable way to heat your home. This home has been updated, keeping the radiator feature, but adding natural gas to keep that utility bill low. Oftentimes, with a home of this period and age, you will find very thick walls. That's an indicator that there are pocket doors. This house has several of them. Pocket doors are a great way to close off the outside in style with a little panache. Let me show you what they look like. You'll notice the brass fittings on them. So really, genuine hardware. To recreate a house of this style with this type of craftsmanship would be probably over a million easy. Another great feature is this beautiful, gracious foyer. So if you do have guests coming in, they have a place to congregate. They have space to go in. This is a home office right now. And then they can go into the beautiful living room and walk through to the dining room. A new feature of this home is adding a water closet right here in the downstairs hallway. That's just a little half bath area, a fancy way to say that, that it's a half bath. And that has a combo fan with the light. We're on the landing going up to the second floor and you'll notice this gorgeous architectural detail, the stained glass window. It's carried throughout the house. It started in the dining room, carried into the living room, goes into the study, goes right up the stairs and it creates a flow throughout the house. This is another window seat that we have. This time it has storage inside. And then I wanna show you another closet. It's another pocket door. And this is where that second set of back stairs used to be. Now they're using it for seasonal storage. We're on the second floor. Look at the gracious, beautiful foyer that you find on the second floor. When you buy new construction, there's no way you're gonna get this amount of space. A new builder would say this is totally wasted space. The houses where you would find this type of foyer are gonna be well above a million dollars. This is a lot of extra space in terms of building cost that just doesn't go into today's homes. There's a couple features I wanna show you right off of this foyer. Number one is a very, very convenient washer and dryer in the closet so you don't have to worry about taking up space in the basement or on the first floor. And then number two is this gorgeous period detail closet. The so one thing you're gonna notice is one, two, three, four, five panel solid wood doors with brass fittings. And then check this out. Look at these drawers. These are from the 1900s. These things were installed and built to last. Those are some of the wonderful things that you find in an older home. You get all of the solid construction that you want with the updates that you need and crave. This house has all the bells and whistles. Let's check out the first bedroom. Very, very spacious. This has a full-size bed in it to give you an idea of how much additional space you have here. You could set up a desk or a work area. I mean, these bedrooms are probably 16 by 16, I'd say. It's got a gorgeous little chair rail or picture rail, we call it, where you can just actually put pictures and lean them up against the wall. Wonderful architectural detail. 
We're gonna take a look really quickly at the main bath. You'll notice that the glass is the really, really thick glass and you move those doors, they're on rollers. So it's been updated for the 21st century. This has a queen size bed to give you an idea of its size. Still a generous amount of space for a desk or another bureau, whatever you need to make your bedroom comfortable. And we've got these oversized five panel solid wood doors with brass fittings. And you can see that it has ample storage space for this age of the home. It's very unusual to have these deep, deep closets that go around the corner. Typically they were incredibly shallow closets. Now we're gonna take you into the piece de resistance, which is the master bedroom suite. This has another pocket door, so you can close yourself off from the rest of the house and really enjoy an ensuite to be proud of with a book if you wanna cozy up or have a cocktail with your partner. Come on in and take a look. And then I'll meet you in the bathroom. What you're looking at here is the master bath, and this has some lovely decadent features. Let me show you. First of all, you've got the bubble bath, and this has air jets, an important distinction from a jacuzzi tub, which has the water jets. Those oftentimes get gunk in there if it's not used on a daily basis. So with the air jets, you get the same action as a jacuzzi, but only with air, so you don't have to worry about those pores, so to speak, getting clogged. One of the greatest features in this master bath is the multiple shower heads that you'll see here. You start with a rainfall shower head at the top, you have a wand shower head, and you have three spouts to get every area of your body. If you want to be pampered with water, this is the place for you to hang out. In summary, this house has over 3,400 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a bath on every single level, beautiful granite basement, a, an absolutely wonderful flow throughout in the premier neighborhood of Fairmount on the west side of Bangor. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Mariana Reeves with the Reeves Group and E.R.A. Dawson. We look forward to seeing you next time.